to do another movie hook or YouTube video. And this one <clears throat> is an exciting one because yesterday the, the trailer for Evil Dead Rise was finally released. Um, it seems like we've been waiting a lifetime for this moment. And it certainly didn't disappoint. Um, my whole idea that it really looked like Demons 2 sort of thrown out the window. I'm going to take that away and I'm going to say it's carrying the exact same aesthetic as, um, you know, the look, the feeling and tone of everything as Fed Alvarez's um, 2013 remake. Um, I have, I did notice a couple of things. I think, you know, it says in the trailer, it's the evolution and you can actually see now that there is, uh, there's, there's quite a lot of differences now between these deadites that we've, we're so used to and the deadites now that Lee Cronin's introducing us to in this urban jungle. Uh, because Lee Cronin, right, here's the thing, Lee Cronin is an Irish director. Um, I think his first movie was called Hollow, Hollow Ground or Hole in the Ground, I think, maybe Hole, Hole in the Ground. And... Yeah, he's an Irish, he's a Dublin guy, as far as I am aware. He's quite young. I think he's around my age, so 20, 41. He's, I think he's around that age. But here's the thing, right? He's only made, I think he's only made one movie. Maybe, maybe he's made something else um, since then. I wouldn't be surprised. But as a, like, he's obviously a horror fan around my age, which means that puts him you know, as probably a huge fanboy of the Evil Dead franchise. Now, just imagine, you know, making a movie, then getting approached by, I'm pretty sure I'd say there is probably his heroes, Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi, both went and approached him and asked him, would he be the person to bring the next, the next installment of the Evil Dead into, like, you know, breathe new life into it, I guess. So... He's obviously fanboying, and I think in the trailer, you know, his deadites, I don't want to say this in case I'm wrong, but it looks like he's taken a little bit of Irish mythology and uh, he's put them in his deadites, and I think it's a great idea because just this, this certain bit of Irish mythology, Banshees, you know, don't be confusing it with the Banshees of Inna Sheeran. Absolutely no Banshees in that, okay? So a Banshee is... As far as I'm aware, hold on, I have to check out what a banshee is. Right? It's a big crying ghost that, that has a horrible, horrible scream, high pitched scream. So you can see that in the Evil Dead, especially in the last scene of the trailer there. You know, where she's like, Mommy's with the maggots now. I was like, Oh my God, what a line. What a fucking, li I have to stop cursing. What a flipping line. Uh, that is. That just made my skin crawl, you know. So, and then the high pitched screen, boom, and everything fucking, everything flipping breaks around her. Uh, so, right, what does it say here about a banshee? A banshee is a female spirit in Irish folklore who heralds the death of a family member, usually by screaming, wailing, shrieking, or keening. I have no idea what a keening is. Her name is connected to the mythologically important tumuli. Or mounds that is that do that dot the Irish countryside, which are known as the side in old Irish. So there you go, a female banshee is a spirit who screams, wheels, shrieks, or kings. I have no idea what kings mean. But as you can see, you've got the the these deadites now have this huge fucking ear piercingly horrible high pitched scream, and I love that. So we're going to get on now to the, ne the, the rest of the trailer. Right, what else have we got in it? I watched this about, <laughs> I actually made a video yesterday and I was telling you about, it seems to be still on, my little new mic. And I sat here and I was on a roll and I recorded a whole fucking video, flipping video. And yeah, my mic didn't work. My mic was dead. So uh, that, that was a, a failure on my behalf. Okay, so I want to talk about the next bits in the Evil Dead, the, the the goodies in the trailer, right? A cheese grater. That's pretty epic, right? A cheese grater. I'm sold. I don't know, man. I've always had like this fear, you know, of getting grated by like a big cheese grater. And that there just looks horrible. Uh, the, the, the opening scene where like she's sitting and she's going crazy and she's like just fucking all the 
tossing all these eggs into into the pan. And if you look at all the eggs, all the eggs have like, I don't know, blood on them, sort of like demon eggs, you know, they've obviously been infected and affected by the Necronomicon. And yeah, I was like, oh, I was having a lovely dream. You know, I was dreaming that, you know, I cut you all open. I got inside, I got inside you all, you know, and we were one big happy family. I was just like, oh, wow, this, you know, already, as I said, this is setting the same tone and the same nastiness as uh, the 2013 Evil Dead, which I have no complaints. Like a lot of people are saying, listen, I sort of feel sorry for them. You know, the people, hashtag, no ash, no Evil Dead. It's like, come on, man. Do you know what I mean? Evil Dead is so much more than ash. And listen, if you're going to say about Ash, I love Ash just as much as anybody, probably more than a lot of us. So, you know, I am just happy. Like I'm, I, like in the 1980s and all up to like Army of Darkness, I was fine with like slapstick, almost stooge like stooge like humor. You know what I mean? Like the Three Stooges, um, boinging fingers and eyes, and you know stuff that got really slapstick humor and it was funny back in the day and i still hold down movies as classics but i'm ready to move on from the slapstick humor and i've always said if you just remove ash as hard as that may be <clears throat> excuse me for some people you remove ash then what you've left is just the horror and that is that just needs to be explored further in my opinion as a 41 year old dude i want mayhem really really violent dark Evil Dead. I want an eviler, Evil Dead, the evilest Evil Dead. And um, now we get back to the trailer. I'm just thinking as well here. Like the two trailers, or the trailer showed me as well that you know, obviously this guy's fanboying because now he's made. He's like he's been approached by Sam Raimi, and he's making the new Evil Dead movie. And then you see like the elevator scene with all the blood gushing out of the elevator. Uh, obviously. That reminded me, anyway, of Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. And also, when she got out of the bath, you know, that sort of bathtub scene sort of reminded me of The Shining as well. So it looks like he's, he's Lee Cronin has taken, like, just all the, all the inspiration that he's had all throughout the years and putting this in the, an Evil Dead movie. And I absolutely can't wait. The trailer was phenomenal. We had the cheese grater. We had some sort of drill going into an eye. And then obviously we had the chainsaw. And like the chainsaw would sort of upset people saying, oh, the chainsaw's, the chainsaw's Ash's weapon. No one could use that. It's not fair. You know, it's Ash's. And the boom's like, it's not Ash's weapon. It is Evil Dead's weapon, I think. It's just the chainsaw's just a part of Evil Dead, and it's just, you know, you, if you're making an Evil Dead movie, you got to have a fucking chainsaw or a boomstick, and that's it. It doesn't matter who uses them. It's still going to cause the same carnage. It would be a lot different if one of them lost her hand and then replaced it with a chainsaw, but not just picked up a chainsaw in an apartment building in the basement. Well, there's more likely a chainsaw, but that's it. So, hey, Evil Dead Rise is actually getting a theatrical release as well as a worldwide streaming release on HBO Max. I will confirm what cinemas, and I hope to absolute flip that we'll get it here in Ireland and the UK. So, yeah, thank you very much for listening. And I hope you enjoyed the Evil Dead trailer as much as me. And if you liked the video, hit subscribe. I'll be uploading more of these videos where it's sort of just like reactions, thoughts. And I'll also be talking about upcoming horror movies. And also I'll be dedicating a day a week um, to press releases, which I get an awful amount of press releases throughout the week. And it's impossible. It's impossible for me to cover all the movies. So I was thinking if I just get like all the press releases, I can just make a video and talk about what's coming out in the near future and, you know, hook you up with some upcoming genre and in the independent horror. But everybody, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.